Mm. You know, you know the, the fancy Americans I got over here? Well, have no idea about the fancy Americans you got over here. Well, have no idea about the fancy Americans well, you got over here. Well, well I got to get no over. Idea. I got to get on Clapper. Yes, you do. Where's, where's, um, where's, uh, Vi? I have no idea. Do you want me to send her a message? Yep, I sent her an invite. Oh, shit. All right, I'll, um. I'll message her and let her know. They're probably gone to give birth, so they're probably going to be a little bit later getting in. I think so. Okay, I'll be over and clap her momentarily. All righty, sweetie. There's nobody there. Okay, love, Sha. TJ? Welcome, TJ. Oh, geez. I've got this all in the wrong spot. Doggone it. Okay, hold on. I gotta get this fixed. There we go. Okay, got it now, coach. And there. Alrighty. Ah. Okay, what I am working on right now is... Um... I'm building uh, snow speeders from Star Wars. And if you'd like to uh, see uh, how this build goes, all you have to do is go to my YouTube page, The Paper Engineer. And uh, you can see the tutorials that I got on the snow speeder build. There's five of them. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Nice to see you. Welcome, Clapper. Welcome to my show. This is uh, Not Your Average Garden Gnome. And uh, this is my phone show. And so, uh, welcome. And I hope you enjoy. What I'm working on right now is a couple of different things, actually, at the same time. These are um, snow speeders. That's what I'm working on right now. But I'm also... Um, working on General Grievous, uh, which is a very difficult build. And so, I buy. Okay. I'm here, I gotcha. Okay. And so, it, it is one of those kind of things that if you're going to build with paper... Recycle paper out of your kitchen. It's a fun hobby to do. Because you can build anything you want. That's probably the coolest part of this.
and that is not wanting to uh, get on there it is wanting to be just a pain in the backside free handing sticks pieces together like this one piece at a time it's very difficult to get everything to work well there's some likes going up thank you very much awesome sauce welcome everybody welcome to clapper and uh, my phone show if um, if you have any messages uh, whatsoever and I don't know why the message is stuck on that one that don't be sticking any more messages. I would love to answer any questions you have about making paper toys. And welcome YouTube. Nice to see you. Says there's two people in here. One of them's got to be Viola. Yep, I'm in. So who's with you? Thank you, sweetheart. Because it says there's two people on. Come on, you stupid piece of garbage. Yeah, I'm having troubles. It's sticking. The, the stupid comments thing is sticking. It's not bringing them up. Cowboy join. Nice to see you. Welcome, everyone, to my phone show. Thank you for joining Clapper and coming in and seeing what I do. I make uh, paper toys from recycled paper out of my kitchen, and I teach you how to do this. If you want to make toys that they don't sell in the stores, this is how you can do that. Huh. Well, if any of you on Clapper have any questions, I I can Lee. Nice to see you. Nice. Uh, welcome to the show, Kinley. Uh, Viola's there and can talk to you. And just in case you'd like to know, Clapper fans, I uh, simulcast on YouTube as well as Clapper. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm building the, the cockpit or the canopy uh, for this. Why? Why is that stupid thing? Holy moly, sweetheart. Why are the comments sticking? Doesn't make any darn sense whatsoever.
Why? Why are the comments sticking? Okay, that worked. Hmm. Okay, well, let me see here. This is the cheapest hobby on the planet, everybody. You can make all the toys you want out of recycled paper right out of your kitchen. It's, uh, it's something I learned how to do in the Gray Bar Motel. Pepsi boxes work. Okay, S cracker boxes, cereal boxes. You got all kinds of stuff right in your home that you can use to build with. And you can make some of the coolest toys on the planet. It's like my R2-D2 recycled paper. And everything pretty much uh, works on him that can work. Even, uh, even his front leg uh, will retract because I built it into a spring and so that's the cool stuff that you can do from recycled paper you may want his little buddy c3po uh-huh yep all right now i'm that has to dry i can't mess with it for a while Okay, so now we're going to go back to General Grievous. Alright, wait a minute. I don't have to go to General Grievous. I need to finish painting this. It's got to be... i got to finish painting this. Okay, so we need some acrylic white paint right here. I have it. So, I also need, uh-oh, where'd they go? Really? Did I throw them all away? Yeah, need a, need a paper towel to wipe my paint off on. Okay, got it. Here we go. And cheers, everybody. I'm the old Pepsi generation. I'm going to start a new one. Hi, Josh. Nice to see you. Welcome to Clapper, my friend. I am not your average garden gnome. Yeah. And we are the paper army. Because uh, we don't believe in knives and guns and sticks and rocks and missiles and tanks. We believe in paper. Paper toys. We can build any paper toys we want. This General Grievous is tough. Wireframe with paper. And these ones here, snow speeders. And that's what I'm working on right now.
Yeah, Josh. That's it. That's good. Yep. Paper toys for uh, girls and boys. Yeah, and the cool thing is, uh, once you learn how to do this, you, you can make any toy you want. And the cool thing about it is that uh, the um, there's so many uh, toys out there that they don't make uh, a toy of. Now, once you learn my principles, you can make anything you want that's never been made before as a toy. So now what I need to do is let that dry. And since I have landing gears on it, it makes it fairly easy to do. Uh, no, Josh, I am not. That is a ho, ho, ho. No, I am a garden gnome. And, um, uh, I don't, uh, uh, I don't give away toys. I teach people how to make their own toys. And so, um, you know, Santa lives at the North Pole. I find that that's a bit cold for me. And since I'm not an elf or a guard, uh, or, uh, uh, you know, Santa's little helpers, I just, uh, yeah. I do what I do, and I teach you how to build stuff. All right? This is my micro snow speeder I built in the Gray Bar Motel. All right? I uh, decided that I wanted to make a bigger one and to make two of them so that I would have them in my little toy box. And that's what I did as a tutorial on YouTube for this. Oh, wonderful news, sweetheart. You're the magic bunny we're talking about, aren't you? Okay, okay, Chief. Whatever you say, uh, Chief, have a good day. Yeah, they actually are. And uh, the cool thing is, I build everything out of paper. Well, there's not everything. The hinges are paper with a little metal uh, pin in them. And the uh, missile caps on this um, missile tank are actually valve stem covers. Um, you know. Uh, why would we want to do that, uh, Chief? You're the one that wants to go. Just, uh, all you have to do, uh, Kinley, is take off. And so, anyway, uh, recycled paper. You have to build, uh, you have to build a chassis. Okay? And once you get your chassis built, then you start putting on your, um, you know, your, your framework which is your ribbing and, and etc. And, um, yeah, and it's, it, it pretty much all functions the, the way a tank should function. Uh, <laughs> it's a concept tank. And, uh, anyway, yeah, and, uh, uh, the cool thing is this, this goes here like this, and, uh, when it's out of missiles, then this slides up forward like that. 
and it protects the armor protects the turret and it can uh, take off and do whatever it's got to do anyway this is uh this is a fun project i've been working on this a while and uh so anyway ooh, that was just about stupid i almost spilled my paint that's amazing stuff you can build and you know you can build thrusters and uh guns and stuff like that here here's a gun that i built it's called double tap that's because the um the armor piercing uh shells that are in here uh, when it shoots it shoots one squeeze of the trigger it shoots two things and so uh yeah right now i'm banned from tiktok for a for a little bit except my dagwood sandwich was not banned and so anyway Hey, Kinley, what's wrong? I know there's got to be something wrong. And there is the clip for it. There's 30 rounds in this clip, and they all come apart. Oh, I have uh, I have a sandwich on TikTok called the Dagwood Engineer. And I build custom sandwiches for my lunch. Matter of fact, my lunch sandwich was so big today, I couldn't eat it all. I have to have it for dinner tonight. It's called a two-meal deal. And then I've got this big axe. That also goes on the Gundam. And these are the three different types of thrusters that I have for it. But yeah, this is the cool stuff that you can do with paper. You can make all these fantastic toys. I don't know if they make a Zeku uh, Gundam uh, model kit or not. All right, Kenley, take care. We love you. And this is him, a Zeku Gundam. And the guns fit on his hands. And uh, yeah, it's just. It's just darn cool. I like this one better than anything else I've ever built. I know, Josh. TikTok has been confusing for a lot of people. I'm uh, that's why I'm on YouTube and uh, Clapper now. Uh, I'll go back to TikTok, but I'm not going to go back for much. Well, Kinley, I um, I like everybody's help here. And so if you want to stay, um, absolutely uh, stay because you want to. But don't stay because anybody else wants you to. If you want to be on the show, and, and stay here and be on the show. Uh, yes. They banned me for stupid reasons. And so um, that's uh, that's one of the reasons why I left TikTok. And I'm not completely gone. I still have videos over there. And uh, my live sandwich builds are over there. And so I'm not completely gone from TikTok. I'm just not there much anymore. I want to make a I want to make a good show here on uh, Clapper and YouTube. Oh, that's great, Kenley.
Uh, yeah, Josh, I agree. Clapper is the new TikTok, and I believe that it's better than TikTok. And so as long as that continues, I kind of like being here. And the nice thing is, uh, Josh, that uh, we're starting to get more uh, followers here that are willing to talk to us. Because I like to talk with my fans. And, uh, you know, I interact with them as best I can. And it's one of those kind of things that I did on TikTok as well. Same way with YouTube. Like I'm talking to Kinley. Oh, hi, Elaine. Nice to see you. And I don't know if it helped or not. Um, we're we're kind of doing averages, I think. And so um, we had uh, 600 people come through the room this morning. And uh, a few of them were visiting. So um, we're getting to where Clapper is actually starting to talk to us. You know, and that's cool. And I think that's probably because they want to see if we're going to make it. Before they really start uh, chatting up a storm. Yeah, uh, yeah, Josh. Uh, definitely are some horrible people on TikTok. And that's unfortunate. You know, but that's, that's the way life is too. You meet horrible people everywhere you go. And so, what the heck? We do the best we can to try and get past all the horrible people. Read above. Oh, show another build? Okay. Yeah, Josh, absolutely have to be careful nowadays. Okay. Well, as you can see here, this is another one of my builds. All right. This is an ATST, All Terrain Scout Transport. And it's one of the very few pieces that I used uh, uh, Nike shoe boxes inside it. Because actual cardboard does not work. You have to have card stock. This was made at Cedar Creek Correction Center. I finished it on 8, 13, 17. Total build time was 92 hours. And if somebody would like to get in on something that I have, these are sonic screwdrivers from Doctor Who. Uh, that was an ATST from Star Wars, All Terrain Scout Transport. These are sonic screwdrivers from Doctor Who. And I sign them and date them. Okay, this turns, this inside here turns because I have a little window here. Uh, my signature is in there. It's a fan build sonic screwdriver. Doctor Who. I finished it on uh, 3923. This is 6 of 10. And so if anybody would like to get in on the drawing for this, it's a dollar. You, you got to put in a dollar right here or on my cash app. That works as well. And my cash app is dollar sign the paper engineer. I think that's what it says. The paper engineer. Yeah. Dollar sign, the paper engineer. Put a dollar on Cash App, and it also gets a ticket on the gnome wheel. Season 2, Episode 7. Oh, that's fantastic. I've made uh, 13 TARDISes. I made 5 canines. And I made uh, 11 sonic screwdrivers. I think my next build on Doctor Who is probably going to be Daleks. Hi, 
Hi, Jack. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Sorry I didn't catch you sooner, Jack. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay, uh, Josh. I have dyslexia. I know. I know that uh, spelling thing is 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 tough. I'm doing good, uh, Jack. How are you? This is uh, this is my uh, my YouTube. I teach people how to make paper toys. Right. I'm I'm working on General Gravis. At the same time, I am also doing snow speeders from Hoff. I had uh, I had this one I made in the Gray Bar Motel. It's an inch and a quarter. So I decided I wanted to do a tutorial for YouTube. And so I'm making these. These are the next size up. Now what I have to do is I have to figure out how to uh, <laughs> paint the windshield on here. <laughs> and uh, there's, I sign and date and number everything. It's just like what I have here. Sonic screwdrivers from Doctor Who. Signed, dated, and numbered pieces. If anybody wants in on this, it's a dollar on TikTok, a dollar on uh, Clapper, or you can put a, a dollars on Cash App. And uh, what that does is it gets you in on the drawing. As soon as I get uh, 20 or 25 uh, tickets sold, then we'll make a drawing, and I'll show everybody the wheel uh, when it gets ready to go. And uh, I let everybody take a screenshot so you can see all your names on it. Okay, Josh. Hey, Josh, I, I have an earlier show at 7 o'clock, your time. And... Uh, and I know because you said mum, and your mum, that puts you in uh, in the UK or Scotland, Ireland, somewhere over there. And so anyway, at 7 o'clock uh, your time, if you're in England, um, I do my, my morning show. And so if you'd like to see it, I'll be on at that time tomorrow. And tell your mum, she's a good mum. Have a good night, Josh. Okay. Well, I don't I need to finish painting these. And this is this one is not built yet, so I can't paint it, but it's getting closer. And the acrylic paint is uh Oh, yeah, drink some water. Yep, okay. Yeah, I got to stay hydrated. And uh, in case anybody would like, uh, we have a merch page. And we are the Paper Army. We're trademarked. And that's, that's what I'm starting here with this uh, toy building. Is the Paper Army. Because, uh, you know, we believe in paper and stuff. Thank you, Jack, very much. If you'd like to learn how to make this stuff, Jack, you can ask me any questions you wish. Uh, but I tell you what, these are really nice water bottles. 
Very nice. Stainless steel inside and out. Very tough. Lasts a long time. Um, yes, Elaine, she did. It's uh, been ordered. Hi, Toka. Welcome to the show, my friend. I'm working on snow speeders right at this point in time. And uh, these are getting closer to being done. Yep, absolutely will be. Oh, yeah, they do, Toka. Absolutely understand that. Family first. You know, I believe that totally. Hi, Rue. Nice to see you. Welcome to the phone show. Cheers, everyone. I'm the old Pepsi generation. I want to start a new one. Okay, this garden gnome is going to do some work on General Grievous. Get these stands got to dry, so I got to get them out of the way so I can work on General Grievous.
All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not sure, Elaine, but yeah, keep reminding me. Uh, Honey Bunny, we need to make a note of that. I need some crab. I want to make a crab sandwich. I got salmon. I should try that. Welcome back, Jack. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you for stopping. Oh, uh, crab nacho sour cream dish. Wow, that sounds like that might be pretty good, too. Yeah, I wonder if I could leave that in the fridge for three weeks and eat it without getting sick. <laughs> uh-huh. Ha, 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 honey bunny. All right, now what I'm doing here is I think I only need one actual layer on this because I want the definition to be visible. Okay, so we're going to trim that off like that and then put it back on here and see how it looks. Well, that's actually pretty darn close. Not quite, but close. Okay, uh, show another build. This is General Grievous. This is what I'm building. This is what he's supposed to look like. And uh, I'm getting kind of close with uh, what he's supposed to look like. And I started this whole hobby. This, this whole hobby I built myself. And I'm teaching it to others. It started with this Millennium Falcon that I built in 2010 in the Gray Bar Motel. And now the guys in the game blew it up. All right. So <laughs> when they got back, finally, after they patched it, which they nicknamed it Patch, and got it back to the galaxy far, far away, uh, I built them another one because they wanted a, a one that's not broken. And because this one kept falling apart. Because yeah, they blew it up and they had to patch it. It's really crazy. But anyway, the RPG was fun and I loved playing it. And so, yeah, imitation crab is white fish. It, it absolutely is. Tastes like crab, though. <laughs> and so, anyway, all right, they're tough. Uh, acrylic paint, paper, and uh, uh, Elmer's glue. Then I built this one because I knew this wasn't right after seeing it enough times. I realized that I needed to make a better one. So I made this one. All right. But then I got to thinking about it, and I was looking at it. It wasn't a very good one either. And so I spent a lot of time building this other one. And this one actually has quad laser cannons on top and bottom. The engines are built right. It The, con uh, the canopy or the cockpit is right. The nose cone is correct. And so anyway, this was my last small falcon that I made. Okay, now... If y'all will hold on for uh, just a second, I'll show you um, what Falcon I built um, next. I'll be right back. It's right over here parked. I have to fly it in, of course. It's got to come in from uh, the landing pad. And uh, it will uh, come right in.
because it it works really good anyway this here is uh, my big Falcon and uh, this one let me see this one was uh, there's my DOC number my name uh, total build time was 365 hours I built it at Coyote Ridge November 22nd 2016 and uh, so this is a very cool Falcon of course the only thing that could really move is the radar uh, the antenna the communications array I could not get the guns to work they're very strange the way they're mounted into the hull and so anyway uh, this is a very cool uh, um, Falcon and it's all made out of recycled paper from my kitchen and so anybody that wants to learn how to do this we can do this and we can build anything we want once we learn my principles on superstructure and chassis and all the things that you need to know to make these uh, pieces okay back to your uh, landing pad okay so here we go that's a little bit of, of what I do I can make just about anything um, <laughs> and I mean just about anything out of paper And what I'm doing now is I'm just working on more detail work on his arms. So that General Grievous looks uh, more accurate. Okay, so we have that, and now I need to make another one. Well, these are all going to have to be custom, custom pieces. Okay. Welcome, Clapper fans. Nice to meet you. And what I what I've got going on right now is um, I am working on all of the uh, little detail work. To make this General Grievous uh, work. And so, what we've got here is, um, and this is just stuff that I want to, um, to add to. But I don't like the way that looks. And so, I'm going to pull it off before the glue dries. Wipe the glue off of it. Wipe the glue off of over here. Uh, because I didn't like it. So I need to make this two thicknesses. <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. I appreciate that. Yeah, It really is. A, it's a very interesting hobby. I, I really like it. Um, and the nice thing is. I've got tutorials on YouTube 
on how to make this stuff. It, it's fantastic. And I don't know, sweetheart, about um, about shutting it down and bringing it back up. Because there's people that start coming in just all of a sudden. And so, the nice thing is, when you see something that isn't quite right... Hi, Julia. Welcome to the show. Thank you for stopping by. Nah, I, I think strawberries are all the same. Because genetically speaking, they all come from a strawberry plant back in prehistoric days. Of course, back then, I think the strawberry plants were a lot bigger strawberries than we got now. <laughs> well, the nice thing is, Toka, um, Kitty is a cat girl, and um, uh, Jackson... I, uh, did you come from TikTok, uh, Jackson, or are you a YouTuber? Okay, Jackson, that's cool. Because um, it's hard telling anymore. Uh, we've got people from YouTube and TikTok and Clapper, but I think the Clapper fans are pretty much staying on Clapper. I don't. I don't think they're coming here uh, to YouTube. <laughs> the Black Pearl. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I want to make the Black Pearl. All right. I, I'm, I'll, I'll come back in, you guys. All right. Nope, I don't need that. 423 people through the show. And let's go back live. Okay, here we go. Start the live. All righty. One, zero. All right. We're back on Clapper Live. Well, you haven't had our wild strawberries. The little bitty wild strawberries about the size of my fingernail here on my little pinky. And they grow wild here. And I tell you what, they put all strawberries to shame. Oh, hi, Soup. Nice to see you. How you doing today? I am doing very well, thank you. Okay, so I do like two layers better. How you doing? Uh, question. Nice to see you. What animal would I say came from outer space? I'd have to go with octopus. Wow. Cowboy Nation joined. Welcome, you guys. Nice to see you, Clapper fans. Yeah, and deep question. I uh I get I get them correct every now and then. Um yeah, Jack. Uh, I am, and as soon as I can get another camera phone, I'm going to be live on three different stations at the same time. It's uh, it's kind of a nightmare. I'm I'm answering everybody over here on Clapper, and I'm answering everybody over here on YouTube, 
And as soon as I get my TikTok account turned back on and a phone to run it, I'm going to be running live on TikTok at the same time I do everything else. I multitask well. So I can build on this and talk to everybody at the same time. Yeah, but alligators really are prehistoric animals. <laughs> All right, now. I have to go over to this side. Now this one, I have to do the same thing on this one. All right, so I got to cut that down. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, I know, Jack. It's kind of cool, though. I never had strawberries on a pizza. But I like strawberries, and I like pizza, so it'd probably be good. Yeah, and Bert's right. We started on YouTube. Uh, the first uh, videos I had up of anything was uh, one, uh, one twenty. And it was on YouTube. And then I went to TikTok, and that turned out to be a mess. And now I'm on Clapper, YouTube, and TikTok. It uh, gets kind of confusing when my dyslexia kicks in, trying to remember what's what. But I've done okay. Oh, well, welcome back, Jackson. <laughs> so, my dyslexia is uh, kind of hard on my head. So, if I call you Jack very often, it's because uh, I'm stuck there. Um... Are you wanting to stay on longer? The show's almost over. Oh, the show's almost over. Um, yeah, I think we should stay on a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah, we'll 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 visit for a little bit longer, you guys, if you don't mind. I would love to visit with y'all. Um, Clapper seems to be dragging, but that's okay. I don't mind that either. Well, Bert, uh, you know, pineapple is kind of a fruit. And a lot of people put pineapple uh, on a pizza. Okay, Bert, sounds good. But I would definitely try strawberries on a pizza. I think it's one of those kind of things that uh, I don't think is that bad of a deal. And yeah, pineapple on pizza is really good. Okay, now something I noticed is there's a little hump in this arm. And so what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to take it down just a little tiny bit with the sandpaper. Not bad. See, it's the little adjustments that you do when you're building stuff that uh, makes it look better. Oh, pickles on a pizza? I don't know, Jack. Um, I like pickles. So, shoot, it might be okay. You put pickles on a hamburger, and I put pickles on my sandwiches all the time. So, I'm thinking it shouldn't be any different. Pickles on a pizza ought to be good.
Bert, you did pickles on a pizza? That's amazing. Pineapple and black olives? Yeah, honey bunny, I love pineapple and black olives. Hi, Gilberto. How you doing? Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I've done the tombstone and frozen pizza with pickles on it before. Oh, nice. I love mild peppers on my pizza. They're the best. Yeah. Uh, All right. That's a quarter inch. Okay, so that means I need to cut another piece a quarter of an inch. All right. So we're going to go here, and I'm going to measure out a quarter inch because I need some more paper. These are about an inch and a half long uh, by a quarter inch wide. And uh, it takes four of them to, uh, to make um, two to make each arm. And I got two arms on one side and two on the other. And so it's going to take uh, four more pieces. Hi, CJ. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Brian's here. Hi, Brian. Nice to see you. Gilberto, Pedro, Brian, Sunshine. Welcome to the show, you guys. I am uh, not your average garden gnome. And uh, I build paper toys on my phone show. And I teach you how to do it, too. It takes some Elmer's glue or PVA if you're in Europe and uh, some acrylic paint. I think you're right, Elaine. I think you can put most fruit on, uh, on any pizza. All right, so now I need to put this piece on here, just like that. All right, so that's it right there. And I've been cutting for so many years that I'm actually pretty good at just uh, gauging my cut and making it. <laughs> Sorry, Bert. <laughs> Cheese and grape. I don't know about that one. Uh, but I don't know. Grapes are pretty good. They might go good on a pizza, but I have no idea on that one. That's out there a ways, uh, Elaine, even for me. Welcome, Clapper fans. Welcome to my show. I have a phone show that I do um, five days a week, twice a day. And uh, you're in the second show right now. Um, my morning hours are 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, USA. That's when I do my first show. So if it's late for you right now, you can come my early show. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry, Elaine. <laughs> I stand corrected. Or I sit corrected, I should say. Ah. <laughs> Phil. How you doing, Phil? Nice to see you. Welcome to Clapper. And Bert's absolutely right. We are a family business. We're a family of friends all over the world. Like over here on Clapper, Phil, Phil Stoke is over here. He, and, and Elaine knows him. He's over there in uh, Stoke-on-Trent. That's good, Phil. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome to my show if you're on Clapper. I'm, uh, I'm working on General Grievous. Oh, and, and I have sonic screwdrivers. <laughs> and I don't know, Phil, if you want to buy one of these outright. Um, I've decided since TikTok is all goofed up, I'd sell them for 50 bucks a piece. So if you want one of these, um, I'll do that for you. Unless you already won one. I can't remember. Did you already win a sonic screwdriver? Oh, that's fantastic news, sweetheart. Yes, you did. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> All right, Jack, take it easy. We'll see you later. Have a good evening. Yeah, I forget how many things you won, Phil. And I want to thank all of our TikTok fans. All right, Jack. We'll see you. Salute. And are starting to wander into Clapper and YouTube. And uh, that, is, uh, that is really cool. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, uh, are you at work at 7 o'clock uh, your time, uh, Phil, at night, uh, 7 uh, p.m.? Okay. Got one more to go. I got that one right there. Oh, no, wait. I just did that one. I just did that one. Aha! Found the other one I haven't done yet. Right here. Okay.
Yeah, righty. And this, this should finish up most of the detail work on the arms on General Grievous. Yeah, and anybody that's interested in our, our merchandise, we are trademarked, the Paper Army. And uh, that's stuff like this coffee cup. You can only get it right here from us. Same with this water jug. And these are very cool. Stainless steel. You can fill them up with different layers of water. <laughs> I don't think they're going to change the sound, though, because they're double-lined. Oh, like raisin bread, stuff like that. That sounds uh, that sounds like that would be pretty cool. I almost bought some the other day. There's only about 15 more minutes of the show, everybody. So, if if anybody wants to donate, we thank you very much. Watermelon with mustard. You know, I have heard that before. That sounds like that might be pretty darn good, Phil. Very much. Someone who hates mustard, mustard. it tastes great. <laughs> Watermelon and mustard. I'm going to have to try that this summer. Huh. Okay, Phil. Um I uh I'm going to have to try it. That's all there is to it. Wow, isn't that cool? All right, I've just about got the forearms done with General Grievous. Oh, that was just a little short. Eh, okay, it doesn't matter. Yep, and I'm going to have to fill those, but that's okay. I knew that was coming. You're ready. I know what I forgot to do. Forgot to turn that on. Oh boy. Making all that dust. Shoot.
Huh. Interesting. And Phil, I'm definitely going to have to try it. Um, that sounds like that might be absolutely fantastic. Because I like watermelon and I like mustard. And I understand the contrast in flavor. It might just be absolutely incredible. All right. Now, what I have to do is I have to make some little teeny tiny pieces. All right. So... Now, this is one time when you have to cut this stuff into little teeny tiny pieces because it, uh, it has to, you can't have any, what can I say? You can't have any bumps in this. This has to be really good. Uh, and to make this uh, absolutely correct, you got to cut this stuff up into little tiny pieces so that when it gets wet and malleable with the glue in it that it becomes uh you cannot tell where one part starts and the next part starts it's uh unlike if i was to put this glue on here it would be bumpy and it would it would dry funny and it would have it would have lumps in it and divots and little canyons and you can't do that when you're talking about filling in little tiny narrow gaps Oh yeah, you can't you can't put watermelon in a sandwich. No. It uh the bread would turn to just slime. And uh and I don't like slimy bread. It makes a good poultice, but it is definitely not going to be any good when you try to eat it. You can't blow on this. It goes everywhere. If you sneeze, sneeze aim in somewhere else. Now what I have to do is I've got to fill in a bunch of these spots. And so one of the things, the best way I think to do this is to put your Elmer's glue in there. And I just puffed. And doing that, it blew that stuff around. Well, I didn't like the way this uh, this applique uh, worked out, and so. I'm going to have to uh, alter that thought process just a teeny tiny bit. All right, so we go up. I got to clean off the palm. Take the old glue off because it's no good anymore. Put that on there. A little glue on here like so and you get some of this and you mix it up and we're gonna put some more in there and af after you practice doing stuff like this you start understanding um, uh, the properties of the paper and the glue and you can add or subtract depending on uh, your next application
and by using these dental tools you can push it down into place Ever, Jose, Nye, nice to see you. And so what we have got going on right now is that I am making this cement to add to these um, parts because what you have to do sometimes is you have to contour things after you build them. We got five more minutes of the show, everybody, and then it's over till tomorrow. So if anybody has any last minute questions, I would be uh, honored to ask, answer them for you. So, And uh, whenever you're doing something like what I'm doing right now, you always want to put a little bit more in place because you're going to sand that stuff down. Now, I don't want to blow this stuff all over the place, so basically I'm just going to get rid of it because I can make more tomorrow.
You got two minutes, Mike. Okie dokie. We're down to the last two minutes, everybody. Okay. And those will be dry by tomorrow. And I can actually sand that all down and make that sculpted in there look better. That's the nice thing about building with paper. You can build it up just like a Bondo, but it's not Bondo. It's, 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 it's paper and, and glue, and it turns into cement. But you can sand it down just like Bondo. But I tell you what, you can't push one of these dental tools through it. It won't do it. <laughs> yep, yes she is, Elaine. English hot mustard. Well, I tell you what, I tell you some stuff that's hot. Is that Chinese hot mustard? It's still not hot. I don't know. What? Were you guys talking to me? Uh, Chinese hot mustard is really hot. <laughs> All right. Clapper, take care. I'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you then. Okay, we're out of Clapper. We had 245 people through. We had 600 earlier, I think. And so... 800. 800 total, almost 900. So, yeah, that was nice. Okay, so... Well, everybody... Um, oh, geez, Bert. You, you, your taste buds been burned up, my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Elaine, I agree. And so, anyway, um, this garden gnome is out for the evening. You all take care. I love you very much. And um, Bye, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And so, yep, yeah, it'll be about 7 o'clock your time, Elaine. I think that's right. 7 o'clock is 11 o'clock mine. Anyway. Good night, everyone. Take care. We love you very much. And uh, glad to see you all in the show. Good night. <laughs>